Today we're going to be making a pop art print inspired by Andy Warhol. So what we're going to do is make a stencil and print it four times on four different colours and put it together so it looks like one of Andy Warhol's type of prints. So to do that, the first thing that you're going to need is a design. So here's a few ideas that I've drawn to just give you some ideas of what you could do. You could do a flower, a butterfly, a leaf, a dress. You could do the initial of your name, an ice lolly, an umbrella, hearts, stars, circles, apples, pears. And today I think I'm going to do the pear. So what I need to do is to get a piece of tracing paper once I've drawn my design. And then I need to find about the middle of the tracing paper. So if I fold it in half and just crease it there and fold it in half that way and crease it there, that cross gives me the centre of the paper and I want to put that in about the centre of my pair. And then using a, felt, a black felt pen, I'm going to trace my design. The design needs to have a simple outline so that it can be made into a stencil. So that's my pair and then to cut it out, you're going to cut out this middle section here. Start by making a snip in the middle and then put your scissors into the snip and you can go around and cut out. I've got one here that I already did. To save time. So once I've got that then I need to work out, I've got my four pieces of coloured paper, you need to make sure they're all the same size to start with so just trim them down and get them to the same size. Um, and then I need to put a registration onto my printing block or stencil sheet um, and that's what printers do when they're making multiple prints to make sure they put the paper each time in the same place, they make a registration. So I've already started that there, so I'm going to put that there. So where would the best place be? I think about that. So I'm going to put a line on round the corners of where the paper will sit when I'm ready to print. And that will help me get the paper in the same place each time. Okay, and for printing today, I'm going to use a jelly plate because it's quite soft and wobbly. It, um, it helps to create a good print. But you don't have to use a jelly plate. You could use um, a plastic wallet and put some paint on there and print on it or all sorts of different things you could use. But today, I'm going to use a jelly plate. So, I don't need very much paint on my jelly plate because I only need enough where that circle is cut out so put that there and then using my roller I need to roll it smoothly so just a, a very small amount of paint and the paint goes further than you think it's going to when you keep rolling it so what you need to do put that down and when you put it down Rollers have got a special lip here and that's so that you can lay it down and the ink doesn't go on your table. So I'm going to put it down over here and then carefully lay my tracing paper. Oh look, I didn't put enough ink there. I'm just going to put a bit more on that bit. Lay my tracing paper down trying not to get any paint on my finger because if I get paint on my fingers then I'm likely to get paint on my paper. Then take the first piece of paper and line it up with where I've put the registration marks. So the corners there and there. doesn't matter if it's not straight as long as they're all the same they'll all um, look like I intended to do it that way. And then just gently using your fingers rub you can start to see the outline of your pair underneath 
take that off. I've got the first print now. I can see from here that I didn't put exactly the right amount of ink on that section there. Um, so next time I'm going to try and make that a bit better. But I still think it looks rather nice. So now I need to lift this up. Put another small bit of paint on. And make sure I go right up to where I need to. You really don't need very much paint. If you have too much, you just end up with a squashy mess. Put it back down again. Smooth it. Take my second second colour, lay it where the registration is, inside the corners, and then rub. And again, look, I can start to see that one's better, it's clearer. So now I've got two. I'm going to put you on fast forward and do the other two. So now I've got all my four different coloured pear prints. If I wasn't, if I decided I wasn't happy with the first one, the first one is often um, the worst one. And that's because it takes a little while for the jelly plate to get um, warmed up. Um, so if I wanted to, I could do um, another one on yellow paper. But I actually quite like that one. So now I've got all my four. Um, I can mount them on a piece of black. Using glue. And it looks very like a day, um, an Andy Warhol print. Now you can carry on and do it in four different colours or think about a different design and create a new stencil and have a go at doing some more. I've used black paint because it stands out really well but it would also look good in white so you could use black paint or white paint, whatever you wanted to. Just going to try and move it down so you can see it. There we go. I think that looks great. I'm really happy with that. Obviously, when I stick it on, I'll make sure that they're all even. Okay, so that's my Andy Warhol inspired pop art prints.